And now we bring in the president of baseball operations, Jerry DePoto. Jerry, what do you like most about Juan Soto? <laughs> <laughs> I, I like, this is not joking. There are prospects in baseball in the post-COVID era who are, who are not, not as old as Juan Soto. <laughs> That's so scary. <laughs> there are guys pitching, playing, pitching in Double A, Triple A that are that, that are a year older <laughs> or the same age. It's pretty shocking. Uh, it's well said. Listen, it's great to have Jerry here. Of course, the Seattle Mariners, 85 and 77 a season ago. Jerry, when I look at your team, I just look at that young pitching. I go, oh my god! Like how how did you get this embarrassment of riches? What is it like to have those arms at your disposal? Uh, you know, vote of thanks to our scouting group, that Scott Hunter, our and Frankie Thon, our scouting group in total. You know, it's homegrown, with the exception of Luis Castillo. Mm -hmm. You know, our, our Gilbert, Kirby, Wu, Miller, they, they came from the draft. They went through our system. They developed with our, our pitching people and our strategists. And we have a wonderful set of pitching coaches, and we're fortunate for that. If I can follow up on that, Jerry, is there a type of pitcher? I know nobody wants to rule anything out, but is there a type of pitcher? Because I see your guys very athletic, not a high effort delivery type guys. Yeah, I mean, ideally, that's what you're always looking for, is the guy who looks like he knows what he's doing. Mostly, we go out and we scout command first and then backtrack it to stuff. You know, and in, in recent years, we've started to explore the stuffy guy that we might be able to, to clean up a little bit. But in general, we're looking for that athletic, good delivery, good arm action. They, they smack of durability. And, and if we can take that, we feel very confident in our ability to add pitches, especially if they have the ability to ride a fastball. Let's switch gears here a little bit to offense, Jerry. That's what we want to talk about, the, yeah. the guys that are banging out there. Um, a couple things. Julio Rodriguez, any concern of, uh, you know, of the year that he had last year, kind of up and down, got hot a little bit at the end there, but also bringing in Kevin Seitzer. I think Seitz is one of the best hitting coaches in the game, no doubt about it, what he did over there at Atlanta for all those years with him and Edgar kind of going a little old school right there. Uh, you know, are you excited about him co coming on board? Uh, big time excited for adding sites. Bobby Magianis bringing Edgar back in a, in a, I guess, an enhanced role. It is a little bit of a throwback. We're, we talk more about approach than, than a lot of the more advanced tech that we were using just a couple of years ago. And, and it's intentional, trying to simplify our hitting approach. As, as it pertains to Julio, not terribly concerned. You know, he's still, he, like Juan Soto, a super young big leaguer, who's still, he's going to play his 24-year-old season coming up, which is hard to remember and he's been a bit of a slow starter throughout the course of his first three major league seasons and once he gets up to speed he's he's just dynamic to watch and last year it took a little longer than, yeah. than would be ideal and <laughs> and would like to see that resolve itself pretty quickly but we do think that that Edgar Kevin Seitz are a, a pretty mature team around him this is the most stable offensive club you know barring a couple of needs on the infield that we've ever had. Yeah, even in a slow season, so to speak, slow start, 20 home runs, 24 steals. You just have to get a hypnotist to tell him, April 1st is July 1st. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going, Julio. We're going. Um, and to your point about Edgar Martinez, 3.9 runs per game scored once Edgar came in 5.1, so you saw his impact. Speaking of offense, Jerry, I'm just fascinated. How do you convince a hitter who has this image or the stereotype, hey, Seattle, tough place to play, the travel? You're gifted when it comes to these pitches. You know your way around this when it comes to agents, free agents. What do you say to that hitter? You know, you mentioned hypnotist. Hypnosis, you know, <laughs> that might be the way. I, in general, I think we have a beautiful ballpark. It's an awesome city to play in. When you visit Seattle in the summertime, it's not a terribly difficult place to hit in once you get into the warm summer months. Yeah. You know, it's J June, July, especially July, August, and into early September. It plays just about like any other place on earth. You know, it's the early season where it can be a bit of a challenge. Right. You know, so we'll, we'll recruit the players who come through in the mid <laughs> summer and look at at Seattle through a rose colored lens. It's it's an awesome place to play. We've also had great success with the players that we have developed internally. Right. When they come up, they seem to have less an issue. I, I think it's less of a, a smack in the face and more they view it as an opportunity yeah. as opposed to as a challenge. And, and that has been something where whether it's Julio Rodriguez, it's Cal Raleigh, it's guys we signed or traded for as young major leaguers, you know, like J.P. Crawford or Dylan Moore, they come into our ballpark and they see it as an opportunity. Even a guy like Victor Robles, who came last year and, and had an opportunity to, to recreate himself, he did it. It's the guys that come in and are trying to, to shoot for free agency a year out that seem to have a little bit of a tougher time. Well, we see Cal Raleigh there in the three spot. He has no problems hitting the ball out of anywhere. <laughs>
got rewarded for his great defense this year. That was really cool to see. How far has he come, Jerry, on both sides of the baseball for you? Uh, it's both sides of the baseball. It's also his clubhouse leadership. You know, Cal says a lot without saying much at all. He's he is a throwback in that he's he's quiet. He is pretty intent about what he's doing. He believes in himself. Uh, he makes things as simple as you would like to make them. He has a way of communicating with the pitchers that doesn't require a lot of words. They trust the fingers that he puts down. And his at bats year over year, you know, he gets a little bit better offensively each year. He doesn't hit him any further. He just hits him a little more frequently. He's willing to take his walk. And he has a knack for coming up with the hit and the moment that you need that the big thing to happen. Cal's delivered on more than one occasion. Jerry, what do you love about Dan Wilson? Obviously been a, a long time, you know, guy in that organization, but you know, why 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 do you give the reins to Dan and what did he do well last year when he took over? Patience. Yeah. Uh, it's a, it's actually I said to him along the way, it's the thing that I could stand to learn. <laughs> you know, it, he is uh, he's an incredibly patient guy. He moves at his own pace. His thought is we don't have to rush. The, the game will wait for us. And Love you know that. the last six weeks of last season, you mentioned it with our offense. You know Edgar came in. He has a lot of the same tendencies. It's a calm, confident patience. Our team really started to embody that over the last six weeks, and we feel like that is. Just just scratching the surface of what this group is capable of and and Dan has the type of mentality the the authenticity and the way he communicates with the guys that I think it'll it'll bring the best out of our group. Well certainly exciting times right now with the Seattle Mariners and one last thought on Cal Raleigh anyone with a better nickname than the big dumper. <laughs> it's hard to imagine you know, the, the, the imagery is, is it, you know it goes beyond good. By the oh. way, Jerry, you are learning patience. You're on the clock here. It's yeah. been way too long since you made a deal. <laughs> There's, I, we set the over/under before I left the suite on number of transactions in this, this three-day stretch at one. I'm bored. You know, get going. Draft, develop, and trade the Jerry Depoto way. And he's had a lot of success. Jerry, thanks so much. This was great. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Jerry. Jerry Depoto, president of baseball operations at the Seattle Mariners.